This is Alex again. <clears throat> uh, it occurred to me that I've been using this funny little tool that you might be interested in. Um, this is a scribe. You can buy these at your local hardware store for, I don't know, this was maybe $8, maybe less. Um, the interesting thing about this particular one is it has a... Let's see if we can... My very dirty hands give you a close-up of the tip which is replaceable but that little tip is carbide so they do make these I think with like fancy diamond um, pens but kind of goes together like a mechanical pencil now why would you want such a thing well when you're working with the type of metal that we make picks and tensors and stuff out of spring steel. You're working with a steel that is very hard. So for example here is my trusty craftsman screwdriver and this is a tensor that's made out of a, a leaf spring of some kind. And you can see at best I am able to rub some of the oxidation off of that. This is made out of a piece of um, uh, spring steel or blue steel um, uh, shim stock, and you can't you can't even make a mark. All it does is rub the all it does is barely rub the rust off. So let's see if we get a better. Oh, there we go, in the shiny light. But you can see no mark. So when you're working these things and you want to maybe make a mark to uh, trace an outline of something um, for when you're going to go mill it. Um, See if we can get that in the sunlight a little better. There we go. Look at the pretty sunlight. Um, you need something that can actually cut the steel. I'm not going to do it on that because I like that pick. Um, I'm going to do it on this piece of metal because I don't really care about it so much. But let's say I wanted to cut a little, you know, short hook on here or something. I can come in with this scribe and scribe a line. Okay, it's very sharp and very fine. Okay, and if you can see that, and that's actually that's actually etching the metal. You can feel it. And if you don't, if it doesn't etch enough, you can go over it again. I think this may be a little bit dull, so I need to sharpen it on a diamond stone. It will dull a little bit, but you can see that you can see how shiny the cut is in there. So that's definitely making a mark that will stay even after you get it dirty and. You know, Sharpie will run off and stuff like that. Um, so pretty handy. Also makes a good pointer in your videos when you're pointing at stuff. Um, and then it has on the other end of it a rare earth magnet, which is pretty strong. And um, it's good for picking up parts that you may have dropped, but it's also great for testing, you know, your various things that are laying around uh, or parts of your lock to see if they're made out of steel. Um, so for example, on this multi-lock, which we looked at last week, I was talking about <coughs> hardened steel pins in here. I never proved to you that they're hardened steel, but you can see the body of the lock is not ferrous, probably brass or something. But if I hold the magnet up to that pin there, you can see that it sticks. So that's a steel pin, and that's a steel pin. So when I'm taking things apart, I sometimes like to see what they made out of steel and what they didn't, and uh, that's kind of neat. But the scribe, um, very useful. Um, makes a very sharp line. If you put a ruler down or straight edge, you can just get right in there and make a perfectly straight line. And uh, if it gets dull, you just take a little diamond stone, um, and uh, just gently brush it and it'll get it back to sharp. And again, this is probably not the best one on the market, but it does the job. And uh, I don't know, maybe $8 at the local hardware store. So um, I want to pick one up if you do any metalworking. Cool thing to have. Um, anyway, just uh, another lock smithing. Or general metalworking related tip for you. This is Alex. Have fun and stay legal.
拜。